Hello and welcome to chapter 5 managing database instance in this chapter we are going to describe database parameter files describe the stages of database startup describe database shutdown options view database alert look file and describe data dictionary and last thing describe dynamic performance reviews what is oracle database parameter file this file stores database initialization parameter the oracle instance reads the parameter file during startup which are then used to control the behavior of database instance some of the parameters that control the instance like for example sga size pga size shared pool size buffer pool size large pool size java pool size all these are a parameters to control the instance behavior these parameters store either in a file binary file called server parameter file or in a text file called initialization parameter file so you have the choice to go with either server parameter file which is a binary file or initialization parameter file which is a text file so if you go with server parameter file the syntax of the file or the parameter file name will be sp file then name of the instance sp file followed by name of the instance dot aura if you go with a text file or initialization parameter file the name of the file parameter file will be init then followed by database instance dot aura this is the syntax of file names database parameter file either server parameter file or initialization parameter file is stored in a def default location which is oracle home slash dbs so during startup of the instance oracle will look for a parameter file he will search for sp file first if he found a sp file name of the instance for example orcl.ora he will start up the instance if he cannot find a file called sp file name of the instance dot aura he will search for the init file init file name of the instance for example init orcl dot aura if he didn't find or he, if he cannot find this parameter file he will give you an error so he will search first for sp file if he cannot find the file he will search for initialization parameter file if he cannot find the file he will give you an error and the database instance cannot start up this table shows us some of the parameters that are stored inside the parameter file the first parameter which is control underscore files control underscore files points to the location and name of control files of the database sga underscore target sg underscore target is the size of the sga memory which is the part of the instance a processes parameter processes parameter is the maximum number of os user processes that can simultaneously connect to the oracle database how many sessions you can connect simultaneously to the oracle database instance db underscore cache size for example this is the size of your database buffer cache pga aggregate underscore target this is the size of your pga amount of pga memory available to all server processes memory underscore target which is the size of both pga and sga if you put a value for memory underscore target that means you are using automatic memory management we will talk about automatic memory management later on undo underscore management either auto or manual auto means you are using undo segments from the undo table space manual means you are using rollback segments from the system table space which is an old-fashioned way oracle recommends to use undo underscore management as auto these are some of the parameters of oracle database instance for a complete list of oracle database parameters you can go to oracle documentation for a list of all oracle database parameters there are many database parameters that your instance depends on 
view parameter using SQL plus you can view the value of the parameter using SQL plus either by using a select statement or by using show parameter command in the first example we are using a select statement select name value from v dollar sign parameter from v dollar sign parameter where name like you can put the parameter you are searching about in single quotation and then in the statement with semicolon so oracle here in our example return two values the first parameter is db underscore recovery underscore file dist and the second one which is db recovery file dist size this is the location of fast recovery area and this is the size in bytes for the fast recovery area the second way to view the value of the parameter is by using show parameter show parameter then the name of the parameter you are searching about or if you cannot remember the full name of the parameter you can put some of the characters inside the parameter for example recovery underscore file oracle will return all parameters that have the value or that have recovery underscore file in its name for example show parameter recovery underscore file or return db underscore recovery file dist and db recovery file dist size because recovery underscore file exists in both parameters so oracle will return all parameters that have recovery underscore file in the parameter name if you want to search about specific parameter you can put the full name of the parameter like in the third example show parameter db recovery file dist size this is the size of the db recovery area or flash recovery area which is 4560 megabytes in the beginning of the chapter we discussed that there are two types of parameter files either server parameter file which is a binary or initialization parameter file which is a text and we learn that the parameter file either binary or text is stored under oracle home under dbs directory and we discuss some of examples about database parameters and how to change the value of a parameter in this uh, slide we will discuss types of initialization parameters there are two types of parameter the first type of the parameter which is static parameters the second type which is dynamic parameters static parameters are changed by using alter system with a scope equal sp file can be changed only in the parameter file and require starting the instance before taking effect it needs restarting of instance before taking effect this is most important note about the static parameters examples about static parameters control underscore files this is example uh, for uh, static parameters processes this is also an example about static parameters sga underscore max size this is also uh, example about static parameters dynamic parameters take the effect immediately without need to restart database instance can be altered at session level or at system level are valid for duration of system or session depends on the scope are changed by using alter session or alter system if you plan to change the parameter at the session level only you can use alter session if you plan to change it for the whole system you can use alter system in later slides we will see some of the examples how to change a static parameter and how to change a dynamic parameter here we have two examples the first example describe how to change a dynamic parameter the second example describe how to change a static parameter before we are talking about how to change a parameter we need to describe what's mean by scope in our examples here the scope has three values either sp file or memory sp file or memory or both the default is both so if you don't put 
scope equal both or sp file or memory the default is both both means sp file plus memory so change the value inside sp file and in the current loaded parameters in memory again scope has three values either using sp file or memory or both both is the default if you don't put a scope equal both the default is both both mean change the value of the parameter inside the parameter file and in the current running instance in memory so during startup your database oracle instance will read the parameter file and load the parameters inside the memory so changing the parameter by using scope equal both means change the parameter value inside memory so it will take the effect and inside the parameter file this is mean by both memory means change the value of the parameter only inside the memory without changing the value of the parameter inside the parameter file scope equal sp file means change the parameter value only inside the parameter file so to take effect you have to restart your database to reload the values or to reload the values from the parameter file this is mean by scope so for the static parameter for the static parameter in our example there is a static parameter called sga underscore max size this is a static parameter to change the static parameter you have to put scope equal sp file this is the only way to change the static parameter static parameter cannot be changed directly inside memory so you cannot use either scope equal memory or scope equal both you have to put scope equal sp file and then you have to restart your database instance to take effect to to read the parameter value again so in our case we have a parameter called sgmax size the value currently of the sgmax size is 840 mega 840 mega we are using alter system command to change the parameter value set sgmax size 900 mega again in static you have to use scope equal sp file you cannot use, use memory or both if you don't provide a scope equal sp file the default is both he will return you a error if you try to change the static parameter to use memory or both in our example system altered system altered that means the new value 900 is changed inside the parameter file change inside the parameter file you have to restart your database again to take the new value if you try to show the current value of sgmax size again it is 840 because we don't restart the database instance to take effect again you have to restart your database instance to take the new value so again the static parameter it must be used by scope equal sp file and you have to restart your database instance to take the effect if you try to change the static parameter without using a scope or if you put scope equal memory or scope equal both an error will be returned specified initialization parameter cannot be modified static parameter the only way to change it by using scope equal sp file if you omit scope the default is both that's why he returned an error for dynamic parameter in this example we have a dynamic parameter called db recovery file dist size this is an example about dynamic parameter in dynamic parameter you can use either sp file or memory or both in the scope in our case we are using scope equal both means immediately change the value in memory and change the value also in the parameter file if you put only scope equal memory that means the effect will take immediately in the database instance if you restart the database the old value will be loaded from the parameter file for example if you change database recovery file disk size to 5 giga and put scope equal memory the old value let's assume the old value is 4 giga 
let's assume the old value is 4 giga and you change database recovery file disk size to 4 giga scope equal memory if you put scope equal memory that means if you restart your database instance the old value will be returned because you don't change the value in the parameter file scope equal sp file that means the value will be 4 giga but the 5 giga will be stored inside the server parameter file if you restart your database the new value 5 giga will be loaded and will be used the default for changing the parameter is scope equal both that means change the value for the database instance immediately and change the value inside the parameter file so in our case we change the dynamic parameter to 5 giga scope equal both system alter show parameter the new value immediately take effect because this is a dynamic parameter and can be changed inside memory and inside sp file at the same time starting up an oracle database instance when you start up your database it goes through three distinct stages the first stage is a no mount state or started state second one which is mount state the third one which is open state when oracle database instance goes from shutdown to no mount state instance started during starting up the instance the parameter file is loaded in memory so the first stage oracle will read the parameter file either server parameter file or initialization parameter file and start the instance start the instance means allocate the pga and sga and starting the background processes of the instance that's mean starting up the database instance in no mount state again starting up the database instance in no mount state means reading the parameter file of the database and starting only the instance allocating sga and pga and starting the background processes that's part of the instance this is mean starting up the database instance in no mount state the second stage during startup oracle database the mount stage mount stage means reading all control files part of the database this is mean by mounting when database instance goes from no mount to mount state means reading all control files part of the database location of control files is a parameter inside the parameter file which oracle read in no mount stage the third stage during startup oracle database instance which is the open stage during opening the database all database files and read log files are opened as described in the control file so the location of database files and read log files stored inside the control file 